This demonstration illustrates the Oracle J.D. Edwards Enterprise One mobile purchase order approval. This mobile application would be used by managers approving purchase orders entered and submitted via J.D. Edwards Enterprise One procurement. For this demonstration, I'm using an iPhone. I click the PO approval icon on my home screen to launch the application. When I click on the icon, I am taken to the user authentication page. I enter my username and password to log in. This is the same sign-on and password as the standard Enterprise One applications and uses the same security model. This is the entry point to the mobile PO approval. From here I have access to all purchase orders awaiting my approval. As you can see, I have multiple purchase orders awaiting approval. These purchase orders consist of direct ship orders, standard purchase orders, and inventory purchase orders. Since I'm familiar with the standard purchase orders needing my attention, I'm going to quickly review those. I select the order by tapping on the line. These are the purchase orders that were mentioned in my staff meeting the other day. I can simply review each purchase order that requires my attention and whether they should be approved or rejected. I'll select the first purchase order to gain a better under understanding of the items being procured. I tap on the line to view the requested date, the total amount, and the supplier. I can expand on the order number to view more detailed supplier information as well as the ship to location. From here I can scroll through all the purchase order detail lines to ensure that the items that are being purchased are correct. As I scroll through I can review quantities and the order price for each item that is awaiting approval on this purchase order. I've decided that I want to view more information related to the motherboards. So I can expand on the detail line, review the requested date, the line type, the branch plant, and the transaction date. I can also enter a comment if I desire. As I scroll through the order, I can see that this purchase order is also requesting connectors, hard drives, and USB port ports. I don't know the purpose of this purchase order, so I'm going to reject the order and enter a remark. Enter a remark. I simply click the reject button and enter the remark into the remark field. After I enter my remark, I can click done and then confirm my rejection. The system then takes me to the next order awaiting my approval. I can go back and review the orders or I can go back to the home page and start over. Since I have confirmed my rejection and my rejected order is no longer visible on the mobile PO home page, only the purchase orders awaiting approval are displayed. This concludes the demonstration. Thank you.